Hey St. Jude Runners, you know what time it is. It's time for another review. This time, we're going to get hydrated. Extremely hydrated with this review. Check it out right after this. Alright, thanks for joining me once again on the St. Jude Runner channel. Please make sure to subscribe and give it a like if you have found anything good on any of my reviews that I've done. Um, so, you may notice that I have a water bottle here in front of me, and I've got another water bottle here in front of me, and I got another water bottle here in front of me, and I got another water bottle here in front of me, and last but not least, I got another water bottle in front of me. So, today I wanted to talk about my hydration carrying um, vessels, and today uh, I have amassed quite the collection, as you can see, as well as some hydration packs. Uh, that I'll do a review on in the future. Um, but right now, I wanted to share with you some of my handheld uh, water bottle choices. So, I uh, wanted to start off with this first. <clears throat> these are the Amphipod uh, water bottles, and I've had these for ever. Uh, 2014, I think. Um, I have a hydration belt that has two of these on it, and I have an extra one that'll plug into that same hydration belt, and then it has a little pouch that I can put my phone my old phone in. Uh, these work great. They have a nice curve to them, so they sit pretty well in your hand. Um, I don't recall the size of this one. Uh, this one's a 10 ounce bottle. Uh, they have a very large mouth to them, so you can put smaller ice cubes in there with uh, your, your hydration source. So you can put water or like Tailwind or some other uh, electrolyte mix in there. They do really well and don't leak. This bite valve up here uh, clicks really solidly into place and locks it out. Uh, so I've had these for a long time. I still use these on my trail runs. These fit perfectly in a vest front pocket um, and they conform kind of to your chest and so they don't have that rub and they're really easy to get out. Put some water in, put some powder in, shake it up, put it in your back in your pocket, and then it's available real quick to take a drink out of. So those are the Amphipod um, water bottles. This one's a 10 ounce. They have other sizes and they have these nice little clips on the side. Uh, they clip in pretty securely into their um, rigs. So they have a bunch of different rigs. You can get like four water bottles on a, on a belt. Um, if you don't like belts, I used to run with one. Now if I'm going any longer of a distance or something that needs a belt length run, I run with this. Uh, this is the Nathan water bottle. This one uh, is in a silver color. As you can tell, this has seen better days, but I have used the snot out of this. Um, this is very reflective. It's black, but once the light hits it, it is all reflective on this part here on the bag. Um, I can fit my phone in this bag. I have also fit Tons of jelly beans, tailwind, all sorts of stuff. The longest I've done um, a run with one of these is a half marathon. That seems to be about right, and I've refilled it along the way. Um, it has a nice reflective detail here on the buckle side, as well as on the base, this part that's now all disgustingly colored. Um, this bottle stays a lot cooler for longer um, than some of the other bottles like this. This absorbs a lot of heat from the sun when it's out for a long time. This silver helps kind of repel it a little bit. Um, this one is, I don't remember the size of this one either. I am horrible. Uh, this one's a 16 ounce bottle. Uh, this one is really good. It hooks onto your hand. You can put your thumb through the little hole at the top and it doesn't require you to hold it. It just kind of hangs there. You can tighten this strap down and you can run while holding it, or I use this when I'm shooting video when I'm running. I can hold a selfie stick here in my hand and still have my water bottle, um, and it doesn't need, impede anything. So these ones have a nice secure bite valve on the top. It doesn't pull up. It's just a little, there's a little piece of plastic in there that when you suck through it, it allows water to go through it. Um, so the only problem I've had with this water bottle and it happens occasionally and it starts to miff me a little bit um, when you put this on it doesn't always thread correctly um, and so I the first thing I do before I even leave the house 
is I'll fill this up and then I'll turn it upside down to see if it starts leaking out the threads. Um, it's really easy to misthread it. You don't notice it just because there's so little threading on it. Uh, there's only one wrap around. So it doesn't thread super deep in there like something like the Ampipod has. It has at least uh, there's two there. And so that tightens up a lot better. I've never had this one leak uh, due to pressure, but this one has. Um, and so the nice thing about both of these bottles is once you open the valve on this one, you can squeeze it and it'll shoot water or whatever your drink is out. Same thing with this, you don't have to open anything, you just squeeze it with your hand. Um, when your hand is in there, you can just push and it'll shoot water in. So if you're running with somebody and you're sharing um, hydration, you don't have to necessarily put your mouth on it in order to share that. So this is the Nathan um, 16 ounce water bottle. It also, if you look at it, it's curved. Uh, it has a, it's flat here and then it curves that way. Very much like that. Okay. So that's my go-to for half marathons. Love it. I highly recommend it. So you've seen these ones before. These are in my hydration pack. These came with my uh, Solomon pack that I love. I have yet to do a review on that. Hmm. I need to do that coming up. Uh, but these are soft flasks. Um, this one is, um, I think this one's a 12 ounce, maybe uh, 17, 17 ounce, sorry. So they're right there. Uh, these are soft flasks. These have a nice uh, bite valve up here at the top. You actually bite it uh, and then suck out of it to get your drink. The problem with this version is it's a very small hole. You are not getting ice in there any way, shape, or form uh, unless you have like those super tiny ones that you have to buy a specialty ice maker to get the tubes and then they go in there. Um, I use this for my um, Tailwind mix when I'm not using this. Um, I put the dry Tailwind down at the bottom and then I roll it up and then I can shove this in my pack, my hydration pack. And when I'm out of water or low on water in the bladder that's on the back, then I can take this out of the chest pocket or out of the regular pocket and at an aid station, fill this up really quick. It, pre it already mixes my stuff as it fills up, put the top back on, shake it a little bit and massage it, and then put it in my vest pocket. And then it is available. And as you empty it, you can crush it back down until it's totally small and it'll pack down really small like that. So it'll fit in there. The only hard part is kind of the topper part. Um, I have another Solomon um, soft flask that I like a lot better because the bottom is pointed. This one is squared off, which is hard to get back in a pocket. Um, these do not conform to a pocket shape um, when you're trying to put them away. So they make it a little bit more difficult. Um, so I like the ones they have kind of a hard pointy bottom to them. Um, they're same Solomon ones. They're just a little bit, the neck of it is bigger uh, to the point of something like this on the same flask with a different bottom. So this one I picked up with my, my pack and I upgraded and bought a couple of the extra soft flax that have the bottom that is pointy and the bigger neck to let me put ice in there when it's hot. So that's a 17 ounce Solomon hydro uh, flask, soft flask. So, all right, did already that one. Moving on. This is my newest addition to my group. Actually, the next one will be. Uh, this is the Podium Big Chill Insulated Camelback bottle. Uh, it does have a bunch of water in it right now uh, because I took it to the pool with me, but this is my cycling bottle. It also goes to the pool with me so I can get some hydration while I'm there. Um, it has this nice on and off feature to lock it out, which is great. Camelback does great things with their hydration packs and they allow some of that technology to come back. So you can turn this off um, on top here and then it allows it not to leak um, or go spraying all over your pack when you're hiking around. So um, it does have, I'm gonna be very careful, um, it does have a very large opening to it so that you can put ice in there. Um, it is insulated, as you can tell just by looking at it. Uh, it is insulated. 
It does have um, a very good insulation system. I use this on my bike um, and it keeps my water cold for a very long time on there. Um, even colder if I pop this whole thing in the freezer the night before. Um, not full of water of course, maybe halfway and then I'll put top it off with regular water. Um, but I have not had any problems with this leaking. I carry it in my pack when I head to the pool and um, on my bike and I've dropped it off on my bike, went back and picked it up and had no problems. So this one is the 25 ounce uh, race edition. Um, I plan on picking up a couple more of these to use for my upcoming triathlon and so that I don't have a fail and forget one and then not have one. So that is the Podium Big Chill Insulated Camelback Bottle. And I'm gonna make sure to lock that so it doesn't spray on me later. All right, so this next one you might not think of as a sport bottle for any of the sports that I ever do a review for, um, but this one is different. Um, this I take with me whenever I travel, uh, taking it to Disney World, uh, to California, to Utah, and I take it whenever we go to a hotel. Um, because I like to have water that's always the same regardless of where I go. Florida and Georgia, the water is very sulfury there. California, they aerate, aerate, aerate the water, uh, so it has a kind of a weird flavor to it. Um, and I need consistency. That's just me. So I use this bottle to refill this bottle and this bottle and this bottle. And what this is, is this is the Grail bottle. I had done a review for the past version of this. This is their newest one with a lot of upgrades to it. So if you want to check out the review for that old bottle, you can check it out here. I'll put it, try to put it down in the description. So this is their new one. This is a filter bottle. Uh, this is their Geo Press. Um, it does have a lot of uh, features. So I'm going to kind of cover some of those. So the way that this works, I'm going to dump some of this out so I don't have, I have a plant right here so um, the way that this works is you can twist this top off so this top now before it used to have the a flip top to it or just a spin and it opened up the entire cavernous spot so if you hit a bump while you were trying to drink out of that you would be wearing all of the water in your bottle now they've reduced it down to this a uh, little spout which is fantastic but it still allows you to put ice in here um, and you can f use the whole system with this top on. Um, this does not leak, it has a nice rubber o-ring around the top. Um, this little spout screws on very well and it also gives you a place to put your hands. Why would you put your hands on the top? That's what you're probably asking. So the reason I take this and want consistency wherever I go is what's coming out of the inside. So this is like a sleeve on the inside of this bottle. I still had water in it. And this is a filter. This filter is wonderful. It filters out all the crud that could possibly be in your water. Um, if you go on camping trips or travel the world, this is fantastic to take with you so that you don't get stomach problems and ruin your vacation. So the way this works is you put water in this part, this outer sleeve, there is a mark on the outer sleeve right here. Oh, you can barely see it in this shine. Um, but you fill the water level up to that mark, and then you take this and you put it in, and this will have this lid screwed on. So if you know how a French coffee press works, I don't drink coffee, but I know how a French press works, um, then you take the water's down in this bottom chamber down here. You put your filter in and then you push down and it pushes, forces the water through the inside, through that filter and into the inner sleeve. You can hear it. You can tell there's just a little bit of water still in this. It does take a little push to get it to go through, but then it pushes it into that inner reservoir and then it's filtered water wonderful clean tasting filtered water so and then you can do that multiple times i do use this at hotels when we go on trips uh, gas stations that sort of thing put the water in filter it through i even do that at 
um, when we go like the airport because airport waters taste all different and they don't always have those water bottle filly things so if I have to get water out of the bathroom I can do that put that in here filter it through refill these bottles if I need to um, on a race weekend and I'm good to go so I don't have any funky water foot so my favorites this for a half marathon refill keep your snacks and and your fuel in here is fantastic I probably will need to pick up another one of these because this one's wearing out on me uh, I like it so much I sold my wife on one and she got a blue version of this um, blue and yellow I believe it is so this one works really well it's very reflective at night it doesn't look like it but it is uh, for my my pack my running packs these and these are my favorite go-to for refueling especially for hydration mixes so these are what I go to uh, for my swim on the side of the pool and for my bike is this podium chill and then last but not least to refill all those is this my grail geopress bottle so uh, if you enjoyed this review and have a preference on any of these let me know I'd love to hear if you have a bottle that I haven't heard of or that's not currently in my lineup I would definitely look look at uh, trying it out and seeing what it's like uh, I always am open to new things and to try and new water bottles uh, especially being there's new technology out there that is fantastic to use so thanks again for joining me on this St. Jude Runner channel please like subscribe and I will check you out later with some more reviews and some training updates so have a wonderful day go out get your miles in